combat pack one from mortal kombat one is kind of coming close to an end here and if nether is going to follow the trends for the past mortal kombat games we're likely to get a combat pack two or even a three so with that being said here is my wish list and what i want combat pack two to look like now two things first if you enjoy mortal kombat content and you want more of it subscribe here for all the good stuff and secondly let me say this is my wish list so if your favorite character does not appear on this wish list i'm sorry this is just what i think would be the coolest the best options what i would want it's my wish list let me know yours down below also i'm going to be using the template they used for the combat pack one and for that combat pack they had three returning mortal kombat characters three guest characters so that right there is six characters i'm also going to be doing six cameos as well so let's go ahead and start off with the returning Mortal Kombat characters that I want to see. First and foremost, bring back my boy Fujin. He was not an MK9, MKX. Finally got him an MK11, and he was amazing. It felt so cool to be playing an airbender, kind of, an air god in Mortal Kombat. Yes, please. I want to see Fujin back again. He'd be amazing. In Mortal Kombat X, we got Goro. In Mortal Kombat 11, we got Shiva. So I think it's time that we bring back Kentaro. We got Goro as a cameo, so we can't really use Goro as a full playable character. I mean, I guess we could, but like, I would way rather see Kentaro. We kind of saw an Easter egg of him in Mortal Kombat 11, but I want to see a full on playable Kentaro. We haven't seen Kentaro like playable uh, in like forever. And for the third returning Mortal Kombat character that I want to see for Combat Pack 2, that is Onaga. I was actually very shocked that we never saw Onaga in the story, even. I mean, we might see him in like the story pack 2, I guess. And I know he was in Reiko's story ending scene, but still, the Dragon King. How do we not get Onaga? as a playable character in Mortal Kombat 1. Like, I get it. He's bigger. He's got the wings. I like, sure. But they could easily make it work. Come on now. Make him just a big, hard hitter. Onaga would be sick. So those are my three returning Mortal Kombat characters. There's so many characters that I want to see return. Those are probably just my top three, which is why they make this wish list for Combat Pack 2. Fujin, Kentaro, Onaga. Now, again, if we're following the template, we're also going to be adding three more guest characters. In Combat Pack 1, we got Omni-Man, Peacemaker, and Homelander. So who are my my three guest characters that I want to see come to Combat Pack 2. Well, first, I want to see another DC rep. I love Peacemaker, but he's not my absolute favorite. I think there are far better DC villains and DC characters they could have brought and probably still should bring to Mortal Kombat. Some insane villains like Darkseid. Darkseid would be so sick. Imagine the lasers. I know we got him in Injustice 2, yes, but to see him in Mortal Kombat with like the fatalities, the brutalities, oh, it'd be so cool. I'm a big Aquaman fan myself, so seeing Black Manta as a guest character Mortal Kombat would just be phenomenal. I loved his gameplay for Injustice 2, and I love that we finally got some more Aquaman reps in a fighting game. To see more like that in Mortal Kombat? Ooh, boy. I mean, we could do, like, Lobo. We could do Doomsday. We could do Lex Luthor. We could do Black Lanterns. We could do Red Lanterns. There are so many DC characters, DC villains, they could make as an amazing guest character for Mortal Kombat. Again, I like Peacemaker, but I want to see some, uh, some better characters. Listen, I know we got Kratos in Mortal Kombat 9 as a guest character. I want to see him again. Since then, we have had a whole revamped world of God of War, including a whole new Kratos, a whole new personality, a whole new history, new personality, a whole new moveset. He's a whole new person for Pete's sake. And don't say, oh, well, he'll be exclusive to PlayStation. He's in Fortnite and Fortnite's on all consoles. So I feel like they could make it work. Imagine the axe, the blades, the spear, make Atreus or Loki a cameo fighter. That is too perfect. I do not care that he would be a repeat DLC. I would pay to have Kratos in Mortal Kombat 1. Now, my number one, my my top, my number one choice as a gas character for Mortal Kombat 1 is 100% Doom Guy or Doom Slayer. I would love to see Doom Guy in Mortal Kombat. He is so freaking brutal. He's got the guns. He's got the shoulder cannon. He's got the strength. He's got the moveset. He's got the brutalities, the fatality. He has it all. I personally cannot think of a more perfect guest character for Mortal Kombat 1. Straight up, he would be, he, he, he's like, he's just too perfect. Perfect, but one step he's leaked. I don't care. Leaked does not mean confirmed. I don't care how credible the leaker is. I'll believe it when I see it. But Doom Guy is definitely on my wish list for guest characters. Now, before we get into my wish list for cameos, that is my combat pack two main roster playable characters: Fujin, Kintaro, Onaga, and then for guest characters, any DC rep, Kratos, and then Doom Guy. Yeah, it's pretty far fetched, but that's why it's called a wish list, right? Now, I did take into consideration some cameos. As we all know, for cameos, we've had some returning faces that we haven't seen in quite a while, like Serena. Jinko, Motaro. So here are some more that I think would be a great fit for a cameo. Moloch. Moloch would just be, I, I don't know, he just fits the cameo aesthetic. I could see him being more of a combo extension, more of a 
damage hard hitter cameo. I can see why they wouldn't put him as a fully playable character, but a cameo kind of makes sense. I know a lot of you guys want to see Scarlet as a playable character, and I could see that, but I also wouldn't mind to see her as a cameo. Maybe draining the blood of your opponent and giving you that for health, or maybe taking your blood but giving you a damage buff. There are just some things that I could see working around her uh, uh, blood work that I think would really be viable as a cameo. I don't know, my brain just kind of thinks of these crazy things that Scarlet could do as a cameo for your main character, but I wouldn't mind it. Next, I would actually like to see Shinnok as a cameo. Again, I think every cameo could be used for like combo extension and damage and more hits and whatever, but but I'm, I'm thinking more like utility and I feel like Shinnok could bring like an undead army to fight alongside with you. Kind of like Sento or like Janet Cage, I guess. Or maybe they're just like meat shields and they just take hits for you instead. Or maybe a skeleton hand grabs your opponent's legs and traps them there for a second. I don't know. There's just a few things I could imagine Shinnok being awesome for when being utilized as a cameo. Don't get me wrong. I would love to see him as a playable character, but I don't know. With the way the story is going right now, I kind of doubt it. So I see him more being a cameo. Another one that I would love to see as a cameo and I think would be perfect is actually Kotal Kahn. And they're reason why he's perfect as a cameo is because he could just work around totem so he gives you totem buffs he runs up and you know pulls up a totem and it's like a damage totem so now you do more damage he runs up pulls up a defense totem so now you will take less damage you have stronger health or maybe he has an armor totem and gives you a few hits of armor or a speed totem it makes you a little bit faster i don't know there are just some things with totems that kotal khan could provide as a cameo like i'm not talking any combo extension any extra hits just totems to really help you as a character extra damage extra defense extra speed extra armor there are a ton of things they could utilize when trying to use totem so kotal khan as a cameo perfect i know a lot of y'all want to see cabal return i think cabal would be pretty sick but i wouldn't mind him as a cameo either maybe one of his moves he runs across screen hits your opponent they spin that's for combo extension there you go maybe he grabs you with his weapon spins around slams you down boom combo extension i picture cabal being one of those cameos that provides you know more damage more combo extension pretty much a, a, a very offensive cameo and last but not least on my cameo wish list I, I can't believe i'm saying this but i do think it's pretty good is devora i don't want to see devora return as a playable character i know don't kill me over it but i do think that devora will be an awesome cameo maybe she lays eggs of bugs and those bugs once they hatch uh, attack your opponent and stun them or they do damage over time as they're on your opponent maybe she plants a spider and the spider grabs your opponent and hangs them up for combo extension maybe she has a bug come out and spit acid and do damage over time on your opponent or maybe she spits webs onto you giving you you know more defense you take less hits or, or you have more health or something like that i just think there's some tools offensively and defensively that devora could give you and that would be so cool to see if we have to get devora back in any manner i think she'd be a great cameo so my cameo wish list just to reiterate is moloch scarlet shinnok kotal khan for all the totem buffs cabal and devora in my head it just fits so well that is my combat pack 2 playable character and cameo wish list let me know down below what did you think did you agree did you disagree was your favorite character not on this list i'm sorry you know we're gonna get returning guest characters so what guest characters do you want to see for combat pack 2 let me know all your thoughts down below subscribe here for more mortal Kombat and fighting game content and go ahead and click into these videos next for more guides tutorials news and more